hi my name is lucy and in this channel we do all things diy all things decor and a little bit of lifestyle so if you're new to this channel you're most definitely welcome and if you are a returning subscriber a big thank you and a big shout out to you on today's episode of creating a luxurious look for less um we'll be creating an ottoman bench with a plastic bucket this ottoman bench is really fancy and you can use it in your closet you can use it as some um, a table where you put your legs or something like that so but like today we'll be recreating it for really less um with a plastic bucket also i get asked a lot of times where i get the things and how i do the buttons so today i'll be carrying you through the process of it so yeah let's head out <music> So I'd have to like check the wood market for that. Um, no, that's I'm back now and this is the bucket we're using you guys first of all I washed this bucket before you come at me and then I did um, cut the end of the bucket off camera I didn't remember to record that so after that I'm going to use this glue I can't remember the name but I got it from the wood market I'm going to use that and glue my foam on top of the bucket so I'm going to go ahead and cut a circle out of the foam and then apply my glue to the bottom of the bucket and glue the circle for my cut out previously. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply more glue to the sides of the bucket and glue my foam to it. This time I'm using a bigger piece of foam and I'm just going to glue it like this and make sure it's holding strong. For a stronger hold, you might just want to leave the glue for some time, you know, let it set because this is how this kind of wood works. It's kind of an adhesive glue so you have to let it dry for a while before you push your um, foam on it so yeah i'm just going to do that for all the parts and then finish up the patched area and you know make sure everything is holding strong so once so once that was done i went ahead and started making a mark with my gold trim on the foam to see where i was going to cut off um i'd suggest you do this before you glue it on depending on how you want it though so i'm also going to go ahead and cut some holes on my foam just to um, mark where i'm going to tuft where the tufting is going to go in and yeah i'm just going to do that for all the parts where i already marked previously off camera by the way yeah <laughs> I really 
love this fabric it's a beautiful blue i'm not really a big fan of um this kind of fabric normally because it's a glam kind of effect but this one mm, it's beautiful and i think i i'm in love with this kind of fabrics now so now i'm going to go ahead and find the holes that i made previously and then staple on it that's how i achieve my tuftings if you don't know if you've not watched my first tufts um ottoman video tufted ottoman video this is how i achieve my tufting i make the hole and then i go ahead and um, find the hole after putting on the fabric with my hands and then staple on the hole staple the fabric to the bucket and then after that i'm going to go ahead and cut off the excesses um that i have and then turn the fabric the other way and start stapling i'm going to add an extra fabric to this one and then i'm going to start stapling as you can see here i pull down the fabric because it kind of gives a very rough effect if i don't do it this way and i would suggest you cut your fabric in a diagonal way like according to how your tufting is going to go for this part where you're going to join but for me i folded it in a diagonal way so yeah i'm going to go ahead and staple this um remaining fabric to the remaining side of this project So now I'm going to glue, use my hot glue and glue the remaining fabric to the end of the bucket where I'm going to add the trim. I'm going to just glue that using my hot glue and fold the part where the tufting was made. So this is the trim I'm using and this trim was gotten um, at the wood market so I'm going to just apply my glue, the same glue I'm using to this trim and I'm going to glue that to the bucket. So this is the buttons we made at the fabric market and they are so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and still use my hot glue to apply this one to this ottoman. And that's the last thing we're doing 
to this ottoman and see how beautiful it's already looking the last clip now you the next clip you're going to see is going to be the final look of the ottoman it's really beautiful and i'm in love don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it subscribe to my channel if you're new and don't forget to leave a comment down below tell me how you love this ottoman what colors you would like to try yours with and see you in my next video Mwah. So I feel that you deserve better than